Yeshiyahu, Isaiah chapter 59. Look, the hand of Yahweh has not become too short to save, nor his ear too heavy to hear. But your wickednesses have separated you from your Elohim, and your sins have hidden his face from you, from hearing. For your hands have been defiled with blood, and your fingers with wickedness. Your lips have spoken falsehood, your tongue mutters unrighteousness. No one calls for righteousness, and no one judges for truth. They trust in emptiness and speak worthlessness. They conceive trouble and bring forth wickedness. They have hatched adder's eggs, and they weave the spider's web. Whoever eats their eggs dies, and when one is broken, an adder is hatched. Their webs do not become garments, nor do they cover themselves with their works. Their works are works of wickedness, and a deed of violence is in their hands. Their feet run to evil, and they hurry to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of wickedness, wasting, and ruin are in their highways. The way of peace they have not known, and there is no right ruling in their ways. They have made crooked paths for themselves. Whoever treads in them shall not know peace. Therefore, right ruling has been far from us, and righteousness does not reach us. We look for light, but there is darkness for brightness, but we walk in thick darkness. We feel for the wall like the blind, and we feel as without eyes. At noon we stumble as at twilight in deserted places like the dead. All of us growl like bears and moan sadly like doves. We look for right ruling, but there is none. For deliverance, but it is far from us. For our transgressions have increased before you, and our sins witnessed against us. For our transgressions are with us, and as for our wickednesses, we know them, transgressing and being untrue to Yahweh, and turning away from our Elohim, speaking oppression and apostasy, conceiving and pondering words of falsehood from the heart. And right ruling is driven back, and righteousness stands far off. For truth has fallen in the street, and right is unable to enter. And the truth is lacking, and whoever turns away from evil makes himself a prey. And Yahweh saw, and it displeased him that there was no right ruling. And he saw that there was no man, and was astonished that there was no intercessor. So his own arms saved for him, and his righteousness upheld him. And he put on righteousness as a breastplate, and a helmet of deliverance on his head. And he put on garments of vengeance for clothing, and wrapped himself with ardor as a mantle. According to their deeds, so he repays wrath to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies. He repays recompense to the coastlands, and they shall revere the name of Yahweh from the west, and his esteem from the rising of the sun, when he comes like a distressing stream which the Ruch of Yahweh drives on. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion, and to those turning from transgression in Yaakov, declares Yahweh. As for me, this is my covenant with them, said Yahweh. My ruach that is upon you, and my words that I have put in your mouth, shall not be withdrawn from your mouth, nor from the mouth of your descendants, nor from the mouth of your descendants' descendants, said Yahweh from this time and forever.